Yeah, I figured show this real quick. This is why I like having a large fuel tank. So I filled up this truck yesterday. All right, it was $129 and like nine cents, right? So 130 bucks. I drove to the Turnpike Authority headquarters. I drove all the way out to Matawan past Route 9 and I'm all the way back in East Brunswick and it barely, it's barely off uh, full now. It's just barely off of it. Total mileage is only 31.2, but still, that's not bad. And I was, I was stepping on the pedal a little bit to get here fast. But anyway, there's the manual for it. All the extra bolts, because he did try to take it apart a little bit. He was an old timer, he didn't know what was going on. He said he was having trouble starting it. It's got the electric starter. That makes it easier for me. Look at the big ass aluminum recoil on that thing. I've had these before, I've had one of these before though. It looks like, what is it, leaked a little bit of oil. I mean, as long as he didn't blow up the motor, Well, I'll know in a second, but as long as he didn't blow up this motor. Whoa, it's got too much oil in it. That might be why he's having problems. It could be, it's petrol-locked. Some people like to call that hydro-locked, it's petrol-locked. Hang on a second, let me get it down. But see, this is what I mean about I can't help myself. But when it comes to something like a Honda, I'm not going to turn it down. If this was a... Uh, some piece of shit MTD, I wouldn't care, you know? I wouldn't have taken the ride. But you see why the garage stays filled, because, you know, because this is New Jersey. Okay, the pull cord, he looks like, oh no, there it is, it's just not. Ooh. Hold on. Engine might be seized. Good news is, being though it's a Honda, if it is seized, um, I should be able to break it free. But it had too much oil in it, so it might not be seized. It might simply have too much oil in it. All right, um, bad news. This engine may be seized, or it may have a thrown rod. It may, it might, it may very well. It may just be overfilled with oil. I might be able to break it free. Good news is, either way, you see this engine? That's a GCV 160. GC 160. See what this right, right here is? That's a GC 160. So even if that engine is bad, guess what? Got one right here. So either way, we're good. Either way, we're good. But um, when you go to try to pull the cord, it I get like a... You can't. It, I don't know if the recoil is messed up, but if you do it this way, hold this down and then try to move this the piston not the piston the crankshaft goes a quarter a turn oh wait wait a second hold on nope I was wrong, it's not seized, I just heard compression. It's just a problem with the recoil. It had stale gas in the carburetor, so it's definitely just just a carb issue. And uh, I think we're gonna be able to hear it turn over with the electric starter, as long as that's not screwed up. But the recoil is just jammed up. That's all that is. It's got, I thought it was locked up. See, that fooled me. Uh, oil was overfilled, had stale gas in it. I shut it off. Let's put the electric starter to it and see if it turns over freely. I don't have starting fluid here, I don't think, so we're not going to be able to hear it go pop off, but I guarantee it will. I don't have time to mess with this right now, but come later in the fall, or when I have time, I will. The paddles, eh, they've seen better days, but they're not gone gone. See, there's still some, so I might be able to leave them alone. The scraper blade, that's not too bad. This is just bend back a little bit, a little bit of paint, touch up black. All these covers go back on. Uh, it'll look fine. But yeah, even if this engine was seized, I got one right there, but it's not. Let's see what happens real fast. All right, yeah, same thing. The electric starter is getting hung up too, so hear it? So that's all that is. 
that's just it's getting hung up something's wrong with the recoil he must have tried to pull his cover off didn't put it back on right something like that so that should be an easy enough fix and then like I said steel gas in the carburetor but I know that it has compression I heard it this spun free and it's got compression so it's there it's just the recoil and the electric starter there's something going on with this I'm gonna have to take this off I can see there's a screw loose right there so he had this off and didn't put back together right that's all that is so we're gonna leave it at that for now but it's a win it's gonna run Honda Harmony HS520 I had one of these last not the end of this winter the end of last winter I, I drove 40 minutes for it and I sold it the next day. I think it was either 350 or 400. Sold it the next day. So I know they have value. They've only gone up since then. So we're good. Where's the uh did the choke not fall off of it? Hang on. Make sure I don't lose anything. That would be so stupid if I did. Just make sure I don't lose any of the parts before I put it in here. But yeah, you see what I mean? You, it's hard to make room to keep getting more. Where's that choke lever? Choke lever fell off. I gotta find it. <laughs> wanna wanna search with me? I think I know where it is. <laughs> Not over here. Here's the manual and all the bolts and the primitive tools I was using that I had on hand to loosen the last couple he had going. We'll find it. I know, I think I know exactly where it is. It's either in the grass over here or over there. Because uh, the engine I have. But yeah, even got the owner's manual. Forget it, forget about it. Yeah, see this one? Oh, yeah, this one's got a choke lever, too. But I, I'm going to find the one that goes to this. Hang on. Hang on. It's in here somewhere. I got to I gotta dig around for a sec. Hang on. It's a good thing I keep one of these in my truck. It's a magnet. Found it. All right, yeah. We'll screw around with it in the fall. It's all here. Uh, all the nuts and bolts. So, whatever, when I have time. I think the only two things that's wrong with it, it's gonna have a dirty carburetor, so a dirty fuel system. And there's an issue with the recoil and the electric starter hanging up on the uh, teeth. It's not grabbing it. It's the way he put it back together. So, it'll be an easy enough fix. 350, 400, I, it's what I got for one of these. With the electric starter, they're not cheap, so. Good find, good find. It was worth the ride, definitely. <laughs> now it's gotta go in here where there's like zero room. I could stick it in there where it won't be in the way. And, um, what else was I gonna say? See, look, one, two, there's either two or three Honda engines in here. This one's got the sticker still and the sticker there. That's an older style one. That one, that's the newer style one. I think there's another Honda hiding under here somewhere too. I've you just I've already been over this. <laughs> we gotta go back to getting done with the Honda lawnmowers. We gotta get them out and make money on them. We'll worry about this later on. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Later.